cigarette smoking is the leading cause of preventable deaths in the United States. In fact, the smoke that is being inhaled contains over 7,000 toxic chemicals. Can you imagine how this affects the major organs of the body? While smoking can cause significant damage to the human body over time, the good news is that some of the damage can actually be reversed. Have you ever wondered what happens to the human body when a person stops smoking? Well, that is exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Before we get into all the medical stuff, just know that we are not doctors. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. Please speak with your doctor for medical advice and treatment. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go through all the major systems of the body to see how they're affected by smoking and what happens when a person quits. First and foremost, let's talk about the lungs. How does smoking affect the respiratory system? Over time, smoking causes inflammation in the lungs which constricts the airways and makes it more difficult to breathe. It destroys alveoli, which are the tiny sacs in the lungs that help distribute oxygen to red blood cells so that it can be transported to other parts of the body. Studies have shown that when a person quits smoking, it results in an increased lung capacity and improved breathing within a matter of days after quitting. The lungs actually start showing significant signs of improvement relatively quickly. With that said, some people may notice more coughing as the lungs clean themselves while trying to eliminate all traces of pollution that was caused by smoking. How does smoking affect the cardiovascular system? Smoking is especially harmful to the heart and blood vessels. Over time, it causes damage that increases your risk of atherosclerosis, which is a disease that causes the arteries to harden and narrow due to the buildup of plaque. This ultimately reduces the flow of oxygen-rich blood to the organs and other parts of the body. Smoking is a major risk factor for heart disease, especially when it's combined with other risk factors. Studies show that people who smoke are at an increased risk for heart attack and stroke as well. Even light smoking and secondhand smoke can cause damage to the heart and blood vessels. The good news is, quitting smoking will reduce your risk for developing and dying from heart disease and will also lower your risk of atherosclerosis and blood clots. According to Healthline.com, in three years after quitting smoking, your risk of a heart attack will decrease to that of a non-smoker. If you smoke and already have heart disease, quitting smoking will reduce your risk of sudden cardiac death, a second heart attack, and death from other chronic diseases. Next, let's talk about the immune system. What are the effects of smoking on the immune system? The immune system is naturally strong in most people, but smoking definitely puts a strain on it. Cigarette smoke irritates lung tissue and makes smoker more susceptible to conditions such as pneumonia and bronchitis. With that said, when a person stops smoking, their immune system will begin to heal and strengthen itself in a relatively short period of time. What are the effects of smoking on the reproductive system? Many women who smoke experience fertility problems and find it difficult to get pregnant. Some women smokers who are successful in getting pregnant are at an increased risk of miscarriages and other complications. Smoking while pregnant drastically increases the risk of a number of complications in newborns because the chemicals from cigarettes interfere with fetal and postnatal development. But it's not only females who are affected. Smoking affects the reproductive systems of men as well. One study found that smoking negatively affects sperm health and can even cause a decreased sperm count. Quitting smoking allows the reproductive system to function regularly and reduces the risk factors associated with infertility in both males and females. Does smoking affect your kidneys? To give a brief answer, yes, smoking even has negative effects on the kidneys as well 
but it's in an indirect way. Smoking affects the medications that are used to treat high blood pressure. And uncontrolled hypertension for an extended period of time is one of the leading causes of kidney disease. So to simplify things, smoking can contribute to high blood pressure, which ultimately can contribute to kidney disease. As previously mentioned, smoking decreases arterial blood flow to your organs, including the kidneys, which can negatively impact how they function. With that said, stopping smoking helps reduce or eliminate these negative effects. Now let's talk about the nervous system. How does smoking affect the nervous system? Nicotine in tobacco is a very addictive compound that affects the nervous system. When a person smokes, nicotine reaches the brain in a matter of seconds and acts as both a stimulant and a depressant to the central nervous system. It causes a release of the hormones epinephrine and dopamine, which leads to the feelings of pleasure and contentment that comes from smoking a cigarette. With that said, those feelings are very short-lived. Yeah, you may benefit from a brief boost after smoking a cigarette, but it will be followed by feelings of fatigue. This is what gives the smoker a craving for another cigarette, and this cycle is how people become so easily addicted to smoking. Moving right along, what happens to your skin when you quit smoking? The chemicals found in cigarette smoke can have detrimental effects on your skin. As previously mentioned, smoking causes narrowed arteries and decreased blood flow. When the blood flow is reduced, the skin cells receive less oxygen and nutrients. This loss of essential nutrients causes the skin to lose its shine and causes creasing to appear. Premature aging causes skin around and under the eyes to look wrinkled and older in appearance. Because smoking tends to accelerate the effects of aging on the skin, stopping brings positive results to the face, neck, and hands. Smokers also tend to develop yellow stains on their fingernails as well but this will disappear over time after quitting. So once you stop smoking, the nails and skin will regain their shine and luster in a relatively short amount of time. Another common question I see is, does smoking cause hair loss? Smoking does in fact have similar effects on the hair as it does on the skin. Studies found that the chemicals found in cigarette smoke when inhaled can contribute to hair loss. Similar to your skin, hair follicles also suffer because of the slowing of blood circulation in the body caused by smoking. With that said, when a person stops smoking, the hair begins to regain its fullness and look healthier and thicker over time. Another thing to consider is the smell. Even expensive shampoos cannot hide the cigarette smell that often lingers in the hair of smokers. So a person who quits smoking will benefit from less hair loss and better smelling hair. I mean, what more could you ask for? Switching gears just a bit, what are the effects of smoking on oral health? It should be noted that those who smoke cigarettes are more likely to suffer from dental problems such as bad breath, stained teeth, gum disease, loss of taste and smell, increased plaque and tartar buildup, and an increased risk of oral cancer. Bad breath and stained teeth are caused by the tar and nicotine that are found in cigarettes. The more serious detrimental problems, such as gum disease and oral cancer, stem from reduced blood circulation to the mouth that is caused by smoking. It should also be noted that approximately 90% of those with cancer of the mouth or throat use or have used tobacco for a period of time. The good news is, those who quit will benefit from a decreased risk of being diagnosed with oral cancer. And they'll also benefit from fresher breath, less teeth staining, better sense of taste and smell, and a reduced risk of gum disease. Another common question is, is there a link between smoking and breast cancer? As doctors expected, Many studies have linked smoking to an increased risk of breast cancer. This is especially true for women who start smoking before they have their first child. 
One study found that they are 61% more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer compared to women who never smoked. While evidence does not prove a direct link between smoking and breast cancer, it does suggest that there is a very strong association between the two. And last but not least, what are the effects of smoking on mental health? Most of this video has been focused on how smoking affects the physical organs and systems of the body. Well, just know that when you smoke, it affects you mentally as well. Smoking tends to cause relaxation in the short term, which temporarily reduces stress. This is one of the reasons it's so addicting. But with that said, Ultimately, smoking increases level of tension and anxiety and increases the likelihood of depression over time. So if you smoke, you have to ask yourself, is the short term boost worth the long term detriments to your health? Quitting smoking relieves a lot of stress and anxiety and also helps with depression as well. And as your mental health improves, it allows you to enjoy an overall better quality of life. So there you have it. If you truly want to reduce your risk of the diseases and conditions that are associated with smoking cigarettes, all you have to do is never start smoking. Now I do realize that ship has already sailed for many of you, but as we discussed, if you do already smoke, quitting now will benefit each of your body systems and much of the damage can be reversed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you thought it was helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Let's keep the discussion going. I want to know, are you a smoker? Did you quit? How has quitting smoking affect your overall health and your overall lifestyle? Let me know down in the comment section below. That's it for this one. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. And as always, Breathe easy, my friend.